Hello, I'm Bobby Fox, Waynesburg University Sports Information Director, being joined today by Chris Hardy, 7th year head coach of the Waynesburg University cross country team, and Julie Gerber, heading into her junior season with the Yellow Jackets. I'm going to tell you a little about this year's team, starting with Coach Hardy. And Coach, uh, pick first in the preseason poll by your peers with the coaches. What's that mean to you and how this program has developed? Yeah, we're, we're honored uh, to be selected uh, number one in the preseason poll. Every year that I've been here, this conference has gotten better, so I think uh, that's a testament to the hard work of the girls um, to be in this spot. Um, but we have a lot of work ahead of us, too, so we're not going to rest here. We're going to continue to work hard and um, just continue to get better uh, each and every week, and uh, we'll see how it ends up at the end of the year. Coach received seven of a possible ten first-place votes in the preseason coaches' poll, ahead of 27-time defending champion Grove City. You've got a lot of depth on this year's team, a lot of women who can contribute. Who do you think are some of those? Who do you think some of those contributors are going to be, and what do you need to do to finish in that first place spot? Yeah, it's uh, it is one of the things that um, uh, assistant coach Michelle Cross and I have really, really worked on is trying to build a little bit of depth with our program. The last probably three or four years, we've gotten close to Grove City, but we we might have been missing a runner or two. So, so I do feel like depth is is a key for us, and um, you know, coming off of a, a really good track season where um, our women's distance program uh, ran up to the podium in a lot of events. I think that really will, will springboard and catapult us to, to having some success this fall. Um, but we're really, we're really focused, I think, going into the year on um, the returners that we have. And I think, you know, if you, if you look at the top with Jolie and, and Tegan, um, Ellie Locke, Angie Marchetti, and then the Latimer twins, that really gives us a foundation of six runners um, and then we have a nice recruiting class coming in, um, four all-state runners that have all ran a 5K of under 20 minutes. So they will pretty quickly come into, I think, our top 10 and give us a pretty strong um, base of, of talent to, to compete at this conference. Coach, in the history of the Waynesburg University women's program, there have been plenty of outstanding individuals, including your current assistant coach, Michelle Cross, as well as runners like Megan Grover. Obviously, this year, Julie Gerber has already established herself among that upper echelon. What is it about Julie that allows her to be so successful? Yeah, there, there's, there's a lot of things about Julie that, that take her to that level, the elite level. Um, I always say the one thing that does set Julie apart is her preparation. Um, she's typically the first person at practice, the last one to leave. And that said a lot about athletes, but it is true in Julie's case. And Julie, Julie's passionate about our sport. And that's something, too, that um, she takes it very seriously. Uh, she always wants to do well, and she wants to represent Waynesburg. And so I think the preparation and the, and the, and the passion that she shows for the sport really sets her apart from, from a lot of the other athletes that have, have come through Waynesburg um, and have really put her at a high level. And turning our attention to Julie Gerber, two-time PAC runner-up, a multitude of awards combined, I think, last year, four PAC and ECAC Runner of the Week awards, and then, of course, the biggest honor for you, the first ever runner from Waynesburg to compete at the NCAA Division III National Championships. What does it mean to you to be picked first in the PAC preseason poll as a team? Uh, it's just a great feeling, and I'm so happy and excited that we were given this honor and recognized as the preseason pick for the PAC, and I think it's just going to motivate myself and my teammates throughout the course of the season, uh, just to help us stay focused and to push ourselves at practice, and I'm just so excited to see what this season holds. Julie, give us a little background on why you chose Waynesburg. With your success at Uniontown High School, um, I'm sure you had a lot of other schools looking at you, maybe some bigger schools. What was it that ultimately led you to the Yellow Jackets? Uh, so after my senior year of cross country in high school, I was recruited by a few different schools that wanted me to run for them. And so in order to make my decision, I narrowed it down to uh, some key elements that I wanted to find at a school. So I was looking for a place that had my major, most importantly, and that I would be able to get my degree there in four years. And secondly, I wanted to go somewhere where I could run and be a part of a team that had a similar training philosophy as my high school team and where I could have teammates and coaches that were both very supportive with academics and athletics. And the third thing I was looking for was somewhere that wasn't too far from home that if I did need to go home on the weekends I would be able to do that and also so my family could come and watch the cross country or track and field meets. And 
So after deciding that that was what was important to me, I narrowed my search down from the schools that were recruiting me. And I was between the University of Pittsburgh, Edinburgh University, and Waynesburg. And I came here to Waynesburg on a visit in the spring of 2014. And I just felt so at home and so comfortable after meeting with Coach Hardy and um, the my soon-to-be teammates. And I got to view the sim lab for the nursing program. And just after I learned more about the nursing program and how established it is and how well recognized it is, I decided that that would be like a really good fit for me. And so I committed. And my freshman year, I kind of struggled just deciding, did I make the right decision on coming here? But I think this past year has really proved that I did make the right decision. and. I don't think I would be able to be a nursing major and also run cross country and track and field if I was somewhere else. So I just really feel that I made the right decision and that I'm where I'm supposed to be. Great. Now, Julie, in each of the past two years, you've had to settle for conference runner-up status. What are you planning on doing this year to reach that number one spot? And then what are your goals for the team as well? Um, so for the PAC meet, I would like to be on the first team, so to be in that top 10 uh, individual placing. And then for my team, I would, you know, I hope that we are able to be the PAC champions and finish first as a team. And then for the regional meet, I would like to be um, high enough in placing that I'm able to qualify for nationals again. And also for my teammates, if we have enough individuals um, closer to the top of the race in the group and hopefully we would be able to qualify for nationals as a team and at nationals if I'm able to make it I would like to be in the top 50 individual place wise and hopefully receive the all-american status okay I want to thank Chris Hardy, Julie Gerber for joining me. Waynesburg University opens its cross-country season on September 1st at the Grove City 5K. To follow all the Waynesburg University women's cross-country results, go to waynesburgsports.com. And for all of your PAC cross-country results, go to pacathletics.org.